Okay, so with us we have Stephane Ely of Isagora, who has developed an amazing and forward-thinking metaverse experience. And Eagle is very, very proud and honored to have it being hosted through the Eagle 3D streaming platform. Uh, Stephane, if I could just ask you a few questions um, about the experience. Um, what was the problem or challenge that you faced that you decided to use Eagle 3D streaming as part of your experience? Yeah, uh, the idea as a, a creator and the innovator was to um, use the real-time 3D and the potential of real-time 3D uh, to uh, push the engagement, the collaboration, the innovation for, for the brands and our clients. And I think the fact that pixel streaming let people enter with no barrier, very, very simple way to enter was key. And when I discover first the quality and the potential of Unreal Engine, and two, the fact that I can give this quality to everybody uh, on a computer, on a phone, uh, very easily, and in multiplayer mode, uh, this was a flash. This was something I really say, oh, there's something uh, for the future here. This is the future of uh, the web, the immersion, the collaboration. We have to invent that. And the reason why uh, I call uh, Kintin uh, the first time, uh, we had this discussion. First, we did some pixel streaming, non-multiplayer, and then gently, we understood how to manage that and do the multiplayer. And then uh, with the quality, and we, we uh, I set up a, a, a team to be able to do that. Wonderful, wonderful. And what was the outcome um, of everything? How how did everything turn out? What do you mean, uh, turn out? Uh, the outcome, it's uh, the results for that. Uh, yes, yes. Were your, uh, were your users happy yeah. or? Uh, the idea was... Uh, to test and learn and to have a goal of that. Then the last three years, because we start three years ago, um, as you know, I'm a, a veteran in, in 3D. 30 years ago, I was doing uh, 3D at the very beginning of the 3D. Then I, I, I went to innovation uh, with brands. I did website and, uh, and then consulting. And then I came back three years ago because I saw that Unreal was something very, very, very interesting. The fact that it's real time and this is the potential of the quality. Then we did some greeting cards every year since three years. And then the first one was a, a little uh, cartoon style. Uh, one not, not multiplayer, it was a voting system or it was innovating and you help us to do that. And the second one was a little bit more uh, realistic. And now this year we decided to have something realistic and multiplayer um, and everybody was able to come in. We, we decided to, to, to open up like that, to uh, let people experience the multiplayer exp uh, uh, altogether. And how, how has it helped improve your business? Um, in fact, our business right now, it's uh, about innovation, uh, design thinking, uh, consumer centric, and we, we help uh, our, our client to work all together. Um, uh, it could be uh, in, in place or uh, in Zoom or Miro or Gazetone. Uh, we, we help them to, uh, to encounter and do uh, design. I think the real-time 3D is uh, something that can enhance the experience of collaboration, innovation, and engagement with the client. Now, right now, uh, I'm doing some I'm doing some consulting about the potential uh, of real-time 3D. I'm working with some brands on specific projects to help them to have what we call the miniverse or microverse. Uh, it's mean uh, a, a dedicated metaverse for them. Uh, where they will uh, ask the client to come uh, and perhaps by group of 10, 20, they will be able to uh, encounter, to discover the, the brands, uh, the, the fields, uh, the, the maps of the brands and uh, learn something or just discover the magic of the, the universe of, of the, the, the brand. And uh, this kind of approach. And also we're working uh, uh, on e-learning, in a metaverse, uh, um, in a miniverse like that, I think immersive learning is uh, is the next next also the next uh, key thing. 
then this is the main things and uh, this begin to be part of our business gently we mix that and i think uh, uh, it will grow uh, naturally with the the all the clients we already have and the new new clients yes and and that was going to be my last question so the next step is immersive e-learning is that correct yes cool and can you just share a little bit more about what is immersive e-learning Yes, immersive learning is the idea that, you know, the, the, the e-learning things, it was very nice five, ten years ago. Now it's a little bit boring. In a way, uh, uh, people say, OK, uh, to have a look to, um, to a, a video, uh, answer some question, uh, you know, it's with uh, nice people. Uh, they, they speak, they, they have nice uh, uh, drawings on that, but it's not the same than to go in a map, real time 3D, to be two, three, five, ten person with a teacher, and uh, to be asked to do uh, a quest about what I, I'm supposed to learn and discover new things, and able to um, like an escape game to open up the next room because I understood, and perhaps with uh, my colleague, we uh, in in multiplayer approach, we uh, open up the knowledge. We, we, we share some experience that show that we understood and then we're ready to open up the next the, the next room and to discover something else. I'm, it's something to invent, but with pixel streaming, it's so easy to, to push people to come in, play, and, uh, and, uh, and it's not play, it's experience, a new way to collaborate and discover contents. Perfect. Stephane, thank you so much for all of your support. We we truly are honored to have you on our platform and, and everything that we have done together over the years. Um, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.